It is 6.18 in the morning, December the 21st, the shortest day of the year, so happy short day of the year. But what we got hidden on today is ice isn't quite safe around. We've had a bunch of rain, we've had like 50 degree weather temps, but we are going to fix that in today's episode, and we're going to be linking up with a good buddy. So that being said, we've got a couple hundred miles to go, it's 6 in the morning, stay tuned, stick with it. Let's do some road tripping. Everybody, welcome to Akeley's Shell Station here in the middle of nowhere. I think we're like an hour out from Josh's place. He just sent me a text. He's up, and uh, it sounds like we're gonna be ready to hit the ice here. This is what we're ripping with for this morning: egg sauce and cheese, like uh, croissant thingy. I don't know. We got some coke and some water. Driving up here, you pass a lot of water. What I've been noticing is everything looks terrible. Ponds open, rivers open, I've seen lakes open. All the ice I've seen thus far has been pretty cloudy. So, all right. Let's cruise. Oh, we are on ice. I think I'm about to take out their ice machine. Not quite, but um, nearly. All right, folks, so we are the lake we wanted to fish is over there. We are uh, trying to find a different lake. Well, it's not private. It, it just doesn't have public access. So other than that, we've just been having fun kind of off-roading with the truck to go from there. But uh, basically what we got is bait. Uh, we picked up Josh. We're also going to be fishing with one of Josh's buddies today too. Yeah, supposedly there's a good bite going on up here. So we'll see what we got. Buddy's slowing down up here. Beautiful northern country. Oh, we should be in four-wheel drive. The first time we did it, it was kind of cute when we went off the road, uh, but not that would not be good if That's... we went off that. All right, guys, apparently scared for my life. We're, I don't blame you. We're, I got us lost. We're falling into the, the woods of northern Minnesota. It's actually uh, real pretty out. Wow, look at that icy. All right, well, we finally found the landing, so... Uh, because Josh wasn't navigating. All right, time to get naked. Pour him out on the ground. That works. Oh my gosh, he did! It's big money. All right, folks. So we got Josh here again. Hey. And this is Tyler. What's up, everybody? So we're gonna head out here and uh, Chubbs, Pike Mental, is a little bit of everything and anything. We'll try to catch some pike. <laughs> Determination. If that's a coyote top there, it's gonna be dead. So we're gonna get the sleds all loaded up and then uh, we're gonna hit the ice here. Josh, you're drilling holes in the access. Down there, but not committing. You got the old fire tiger forage minnow with a fat head on it. Well, just the head of fat. Got something doing it dirty. No! See if I can get him up. First fish of the 2023 ice season. Mondo. Mondo. <laughs> Absolute giant. Yes, time to go back. Right back in the hole. That's what we're all here for, boys. Little teardrop right there with some waxies. They've been they've been looking at our bigger spoons. They've been wanting something a little bit more. Um, your rods, but there you go! There? No, oh, he's gone. Monster. What the heck is that? Fiable monster here that we got going on. Hey look, Dad, I caught a fish. There we go. Oh, Pike, it's a Pike. Oh, 
we go. Ooh, nice. Boy, we haven't seen them. Yes. Oh, I got this good old coffin spoon right there. Kind of did the. You get it done. That'll be on the GoPro. Down. Nice. All right, folks, we are out here on the ice. Right now, we're just kind of playing around at a lake in the area. Tip up set up over there, a couple of rods set up over here. We're in about 18 feet of water, and we've kind of been playing with uh, dink perch all day. And that pike just came in on Josh, and well, that was about the most action we've seen so far today. We got all the bait a guy could ever want. Now, I suppose it's just a bit of a waiting game, and uh, we'll see if this doesn't start to turn on here as that light starts to come down. I've noticed, especially in winter for some reason, really can make or break a bite. So we'll see if something doesn't happen. Anyways, stay tuned, stick with it. Let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't find anything else. Oh, I'll get him with this. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Whatever that is, that's, that's good. Watch your bobber too. Oh, big bass, big, big bass. bass, big bass. Oh, okay. ah! Ah, Steven! <laughs> Let's go! I'm zoning out over here. I noticed something came in on the flasher. Look at the size of that bass. Absolutely gorgeous. Be two and a half, yeah. Oh, he's still got a belly on him for being with Yeah, look at that. That's the biggest bass I've personally seen on a ice. Funny as I was just saying that if this was open water, I'd be throwing a jig up into these reeds and. This guy was just hanging out, must have been munching on some perch, so we'll let him go. Yeah, that in 18 feet. All right, let him go. See you later, bud. Oh, no. oh my gosh, that thing was huge. Barely fit through the hole. Where did that uh, other half of that minnow go over here? So we got this uh, Wonder Bread looking color, tipped with the minnow. That one, I had a minnow head on. There we go. Oh, I think he spit it. No! <laughs> walleye! Alright folks, for everybody who wanted to see walleye content, there's your walleye content there folks. Beautiful white tip on the tail there. Do you think uh, crappie and... Uh... Oh. Fish all over down there now. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks kind of <laughs> Yes, there you go. Real, real, real. He's got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Getting her done. Shoo. Nice little, little guy. What a monster. Nice bite. There you go. Boom. I knew this was a good place, good plan to go to after I lost us. Josh the guy putting us on fish today. I'll leave his contact information in the description <laughs> below. All right, everybody, it is, uh, well, light's getting pretty pretty dim out here. So I think the plan is we're gonna head back to Bemidji. We're gonna get off the ice. We're gonna catch some grub. We're gonna probably catch up and uh, warm up because it, uh, it sounds like we are all freezing out here. So let's go skip to that right now. Hey, fire to danger today is low. It's hibernating. Oh, is it? Alrighty, folks, so we are just uh, wrapping up the night. We are just gonna do a restaurant right now. We're gonna go meet up with Tyler again, and uh, I think we're gonna talk about how the day went, and then maybe discuss some plans. And just hang out. Is there duckies down there? I don't see nothing. What? No, you want butter on it. You want butter on it. Yeah. You want butter on it. <laughs> I'm putting butter on. <laughs> no. He's still going. It's been like 15 minutes and this kid's still going. I called him in. Did you? How many? All of them. All right, well, food was good. We just had this green mill and a burger. Pretty yeah. awesome. Pretty good food, not too bad. So I think now we're gonna head to Wally World. Head to Wally World, I guess. What did you have? You had some pasta thing? I had some fire desert, pasta. Desert fire pops or whatever. Desert fire pops. It was like a pepper, peppercorn type cream sauce. Oh, are we about to blow the stop sign? Pretty good. How does it smell? Smell? Give it to the camera. 
Yeah, that's not bad. How about aqua bergamot? Back to the good old axe days, huh? All right, everybody, so we have just made it back from out on the stores. Actually, that's a lie. We've been back for several hours. We've been talking here. It sounds like we're fixing on heading to Red tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. But I have just finished dumping footage of today's episode, and I think that's pretty much all we got for today. So thanks for everybody for watching today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that bell icon. Special shout out and thank you to Josh and his roommates for letting me come up here and hang out with them for well, the next day, I suppose, and uh, hopefully we can get on the ice, we can find some more fish. So today was to uh, get out on some northern fish, fish and uh, actually catch some of the first fish for the hard water season here at Bishop Fisherman for 2023. And I think we 